In this lesson, I just want to go over some basics with your Cinema 6K, how to plug it in, power it, insert media, and how to update the firmware on the camera so that you're ready to go. So first of all, the power is pretty simple. We've got a plug over here on the left, and the plug, if you see, it has a little notch on it, and that top notch goes to a top notch there on the camera, and you just press that in. And if it's hard to see, I just push it in and then just slowly turn it and you'll feel it pop in. And then to unplug it, you grab that little metal sleeve and pull that back and it'll unplug from the camera. And you can also insert a battery in the bottom here. That battery will not power this camera for very long at all. You need another solution. I personally typically use MPF batteries. And for example, here's a cage on my Pocket Cinema camera, my Pocket 4K. And so I have an MPF battery mounted to this and then plugged in with the same type of connector that your power supply uses. But the problem for me right now is this camera is so new that small rig doesn't have a cage out for it yet. And so I'm waiting on that. There is one company that has a cage, but I'm waiting for small rig. I like their stuff. Once they or Tilta have a cage for this, then I can mount an MPF and do it that way. Okay, so media for your camera. You can record to either an external SSD drive. This is the Samsung T9, it's a fast SSD drive. Or you can use an internal CF Express card. If you just pop this over on the right, pop this open, and you can insert your CF Express card there. My two cents. First of all, make sure you check out the Blackmagic Design approved media list on their website because they will tell you what media they've approved and tested with the Cinema 6K. But a side note on that, I personally don't just blindly pick from that list. I look at all the individual specs of the cards and then look at reviews at like BH Photo and stuff and see which cards overheat or which cards have had problems, etc. And you're going to realize to get a good card, you're going to spend a lot of money. CF Express cards are more expensive than the CFast cards that the Pocket 4K ran on. So just don't cheap out on your media. You can also do the external drive. I just don't like the extra cables, especially when I'm using a gimbal things like that. Once you have media attached, you can see that on the lower part of your LCD display. And if you just touch it, you can click Format, highlight the drive, and then Mac OS Extended for Mac, hit Format Drive, hit it again, and then hold it down, and then you're ready to go. The other thing we want to do is update the firmware on your camera. So in order to do that, we need to hook your camera up to the USB-C port on your computer, and then download the Blackmagic Utility. So let me do that. I'm going to hook it up really fast to the computer, and then we're going to jump over to the Blackmagic Design website. You want to go to blackmagicdesign.com forward slash support, and then click Professional Cameras. And the menu is really weird depending on your computer display. It doesn't look like it does anything when you do that, but just scroll down the page, and you'll see the latest updates. And you want to read the fine text and make sure it's for the Cinema 6K because there's different updates for different Blackmagic Design cameras. Just click your operating system. It's going to allow you to register the camera if you haven't done that. I would go ahead and do that now. And it's going to want the serial number. If you take this battery out, there's a little sticker on the inside and the serial number is there. So go ahead and put in the information and then just click register and download. Or you can just click download only. Just download it to your desktop or somewhere easy to get to. And then once it downloads, double click on the zip file. And if you're on Mac, it's going to give you a .dmg file. Double click on that and then choose Install Camera from the window that pops up. And just agree to all the prompts, enter your system password if you need to. And when it finishes, just close this window, delete the installation files so they're not taking up space on your computer. And then I'm gonna to go to Applications, and there I see Blackmagic Cameras. And as long as your Cinema 6K is plugged in, it should show up on this screen. And if you just click on the actual photo of the camera or the little icon below it, so this says Update Available, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the Update button. A little side note, before you actually update the firmware, make sure your camera has power because you don't want the power going off in the camera while this update's happening. So if you're only running on the little internal battery, you need to plug it into AC power before you continue. There we go, update complete, so click done. And then just click on the camera again or the little icon underneath it and it's gonna open up another window with some different settings and information. And you'll see at the top there a software version and that should show that latest firmware version that you just, or that software update that you just downloaded. So now you know some basics on power. There's other power options like V-mount batteries and stuff, depending on what cage you get and what you're doing, etc. And then also with media, again, I recommend the CF Express cards. And then now you can see how easy it is to keep your firmware updated on your camera. I don't 
recommend jumping on the latest software update right away because sometimes there can be a bug. And if everything's working fine in your camera, there's no need to just rush to a new release unless it has a feature that you really need. If you are an aspiring filmmaker and you want to learn how to do the craft, check out Write Direct, writedirect.co. Write and Direct is my online film school designed to do one thing, help you realize your dreams faster. Because I did the normal thing, I went to film school, moved to Los Angeles, and yeah, it was fun, I learned a lot, but you know what, I took out a $60,000 school loan, and you realize when you do that, that no one's gonna hire you because you went to film school. And if you don't believe me, call up any studio in LA and, and pick your school. Say, hey, I just graduated from UCLA with honors, and I am looking for a job. You're not gonna get anywhere because of that degree. So that can be kind of scary if you spend a lot of time and money on film school. So my goal with Write and Direct is to take you from development through post-production so that you know how to, you understand the craft and you know how to do everything to some degree, not so that you can just control and do everything yourself all the time, but when you're first starting out, if you can't afford to pay crew, then you've gotta know how to do lighting. You, know, you have to know how to do sound, run the camera, do post-production, and so much more. And pushing all of that to the side, it all begins with story. So we cover all of that in right, right and Direct for a fraction of the cost of traditional film school. So I hope to see you there, and if not there, I'll see you on the channel very soon.